Words are an approximation. Not everyone who is very linear and very lexical is going to think of this themselves as a middle manager. But the same can be said for all the names. Not everyone in the human calculator category is going to really identify with the name. So what's going on here? Well, when someone looks at the chart, the first thing they notice is the 16 colorful boxes and their, their fancy names spread across them. I think that people often find themselves, at least at first, trying to give themselves a title to associate with in one of those squares. What they should really be doing is thinking to themselves, how lexical am I? How impressionist? How linear? And how lateral? All right? So the names can be annoying. So I hear, I, I hear you saying, clearly we should throw all 16 of the titles into the river and just label them with acronyms. But I say, hey, build the rescue helicopter. We need those words. Impressions are important. Why are there titles in the first place? To make this chart easier to understand. When a person sees 16 boxes filled with acronyms, they are at best curious about what those acronyms stand for, and at worst, completely turned off by the, by the c c cluster, f cluster of letters. However, when they see a name like human calculator, hyperlexical and hyperlinear start to make a little bit more sense because they have an archetype in their head to compare it with. Their names often give off an, the names of these squares often give up an impression that is important. It's not just about lexemes, my fellow neurons. It's about impressions too. We aren't getting the words right ever. The words are great at giving a general idea. However, they will not fit for everyone. And that's just the reality we have to live with. I'm not saying we can't get better words. Clearly we can. I mean, what's a shadow guardian? Uh, some, of, some of them probably still need to be changed. Like maybe impressionist. It can be kind of confusing for newer people. We already have another th word on, on the chart that says impression in the bottom right corner. People are going to be confused because now there it is again in the middle of the chart. If we just, but we can't be, you know, we got to be careful. We can't just la start labeling stuff with really like straightforward names. Like if we went to new type and just labeled them chaos and the bookkeepers, the imperium of man. I mean, if we labeled the bookkeepers ordered, we'd lose all kinds of new nuance and interpretation. Like some people don't want to admit they are chaos. They'd rather be like, yeah, I mean, I'm a new type. Same for bookkeepers. They don't want, to be, they don't want people thinking they got to stick up their butt all the time because they don't. They don't always have to stick up their butt. I'm losing the plot. The point is we are never getting perfect words. But we can get better ones, so it is important to continue to the debate. Just remember that we are never getting to perfection, but we can get closer. The chart may require change. At the moment, people see the 16 titles at first, which is an important, which is more important, in my opinion, than seeing the scientific terms. But I think it's just as important to have a better layout for the axes. I mean, look at this thing. The ideas we are discussing are complex. It, it, it should be more than two lines and four tiny words. Maybe we should think of, of it more like a table than a chart. Uh, we could label the four sides in bigger text. We could, we could label the columns and rows with those acronyms we talked about earlier. We could add the acronyms inside the boxes along with the names. I, I don't know how good any of those ideas are, but I think they're, you know, we still need some change. My favorite idea, though, would just to be let people make their own charts. We could post them on the subreddit and debate them like we debate everything on the subreddit. Final thoughts. Continue to add your ideas about this stuff into the mix. Whether, where, whether it is where you place characters on the chart, the definition of the chart's four sides and axes and corners, anything. Anything you add to the discussion helps us refine our ideas. If you even end up wrong, that's great because some of these terms we are talking about can be confusing and it's helpful to know where people mess up so we can learn to better explain ourselves. So leave comments and comment on comments and let's continue to learn, my fellow neurons.